If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going over the Saturday Legends, guys. But, of course, before we get into all the Legends and everything, we're going to check them out. We know they're going to, you know, they look pretty solid, right? From the pre-reveal, they look pretty good. We're going to go check them out, of course, see their LTDs, see everything that goes with them. But guys, before we get into today's video, guys, if you're into the channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, and join the family. Make sure this video a big thumbs up as always, guys. And for today's Poodle Squad shout out, if you haven't already, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn on the notification bell. For today's Poodle Squad shout out, we got Javon Games. Shout out to you, man, for asking. You asked for the shout out, I gave you the shout out. It's how it works. It's all you gotta do. It's very, it's really just that simple. But moving on, if you guys do like today's legends, all you gotta do is head on over. To the auction block, check out their price. If you need the coins, send over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 15% off. Take advantage of the post Halloween discounts that have been discounted even further as well. So take advantage. As you guys see on the screen, make sure you guys are following along with your Madden Club Championship um, solos because, of course, you do want to get that free 95 Pat Pete, Chandler Jones, Kyler Murray, and Larry Fitzgerald. Now, cross out Larry Fitz and probably Chandler Jones. You definitely want the Pat Pete or the Kyler Murray. Probably at the time, Pat Pete. Is probably my number one option, but Kyler Murray at the Kyler Murray at the moment is my number one option. But as we know, when we get closer and there's more quarterbacks, Pat P might be the better option as a depth position. But moving on from that, guys, uh, as far as today's legends, do not open packs for them. I've been telling you, as prices have been decreasing and LTD has become less rare, packs have become more obsolete. <coughs> so don't make that mistake, guys. Make sure you are going ahead and taking the right thing, the right path. Either use your coins or pick up some coins, but don't open the packs. That's just a crazy price point for currently to be able to get those cards. Now, if you guys did see, we did get the Chad Ocho Cinco one of the guys today. One of the better wide receivers in the game. Some people were saying possibly the best or one of the best. I don't know. It really depends on abilities, of course, and kind of like where he caps out at and how, like, you know, behind the card stats. But as of now, he does look like one of the best. I just don't know if I go as far as saying he is the best. Like I said, it really just depends. But the LTD could, you know, could change all of that. Because, of course, once you see the LTD, it could change all of that. Now, guys, uh, later today, by the way, if you do want to see, I will be doing a most uh, of a harvest um autumn blast predictions going over the masters going over the game day objectives you guys know what that is it's like thanksgiving day game objectives for players to get upgrades i will be going over all that later today so if you guys want to see that comment down below let me know i will be recording it after this video if you guys want to see it so let me know i'll be my second video for the day i already have a list made up for if you guys do end up wanting it I had that made out this morning but guys about it for that um Hopefully, you guys do enjoy the rest of the video. Let's go ahead into the Legends and go check out some of the stats and everything else. Okay, guys, so first, we do have Jack Youngblood for the Rams. Now, for the Rams here, guys, he's 94 overall. 94 overall card, guys. So, now, we are in the 95 overall threshold starting last week. So, as you guys do know, now that we're in the 95 overall threshold, most of these Legends are looking like they're going to be pretty meta for the most part. And that's, that's kind of just a state of how this is going to go because since they are 94 overalls, guys, they will be increasingly getting, like, they're just getting better, right? So last year, what they did most of the time was in terms of legends, it was always, they always kept like a step or two behind most other cards, which always kind of sucked because since they always kept them behind, it was like you had to, it had to be a meta legend for you to like enjoy, right? So it was like, you quite literally had to go ahead and it had to be Randy Moss, Deion Sanders, or Michael Vick. If it wasn't that, the, those guys... You pretty much were just stuck because those they weren't that great of overalls. So like if you got like an Amon Green, like they were always like kind of good, but they first off, if they were one of the best cards, they were this close to being a good card. So like they'd be phased out instantly. So that's the first part. Then if they weren't, they just weren't good enough, right? So like we'd get like Kevin Greens and Jack Youngbloods, and we're like, oh, they're never great. But in terms of we only have we have to get a monster deal. But this year, like Jack Youngblood, like any legend, any name doesn't matter. They, they could be relevant just because of their overall, right? So that's great. I liked it. They're keeping Legends more valuable because last year it was kind of annoying that it wasn't mad. It's like, oh, another waste of a Saturday. But let's get onto the stats here. So Jack Youngblood stats. He got 86 speed, 91 excel, 91 strength, 92 tackle, 91 play rack, 91 block shed, 87 finesse move, 87 power move, sorry, 93 finesse move. Now, overall, he has an amazing finesse move and an amazing block shed and great speed, guys. He's going to be one of the best pass rushers in the game. And here's the thing. Typically, when you have a pass rusher with good block shed, Okay, let's start over. When you have a pass rusher with a really good finesse move, typically they don't seem to have a great uh, block shed, as well as they don't typically have good speed as well. Like, they have everything here. He's got good finesse, good speed, good block shed. So, Jack Youngblood's going to be a goon. He's going to be able to stop the run, finesse the pass, uh, fin fin finesse the pass, finesse move, he, which is great because finesse moves a bit faster than power move, and he also has good strength, good tackle, good excel. Uh, you can't power him up, of course, because he already is, but if you come him up with pass rush all the way, you can get his finesse move super high up there, which is super great. 
I think Jack Youngblood, he could possibly be. He could possibly be the best end in the game. Of course, you know, it all comes down to whether or not, like, thresholds and certain things you're looking for in your team specifically. But overall, guys, he could end up being one of the best ones in the game. Now, I personally think that if you can afford him, you probably should pick him up because he does he does just look that great. The only thing with him is going to be, you know, of course, do you want Jack Youngblood, right? But I think you line him up with, like, you know, Lawrence Taylor or Ricky Jackson or um, Derek Thomas. Now, of course, you can't play them on the outside. Well, you know, with Jack Youngblood, you can't play them on the outside. You're going to have to put them on the interior. But I think he's strong enough to handle and good enough as a run stuff to handle the like, defensive tackle, like kind of a big nickel or something. Let's move on to Chad Ochocinco now. Chad Ochocinco, again, $2.3 million. Super crazy, super expensive. But, of course, we all know it will come down very, very soon. So don't worry about that. You do know it's going to come down very fast. Um, but, again, where will he cap? Depending on what people view him as meta, he probably will end up capping around, I'd say, six four to six hundred k initially and then he could even come down lower it really just depends on what people end up valuing him as now i wish he was a little bit faster just because of the fact that like he is 94 overall and chad typically was a pretty athletic player now the thing with him is too guys it's going to be just we have so many wide receivers right now like we have terry mclaurin but if chad's a route runner right and you get terry mclaurin as a deep threat that's going to be a perfectly well-rounded duo then you toss in julio jones or a future randy moss and you got a squad right you can have chad coming out the slot as some route runner, you could have Julio, I mean, Julio, Julio or Randy on the outside, and you have Terry McLaurin on the outside, or even Terry McLaurin. And 93 speed, 93 jumping, 91 catching, 89 catch in traffic, 93 spec catch, 91 short running, 91 medium route running, 92 deep route running. Now, again, why do I wish he had more speed? Because if he had 94 speed, he'd be the greatest receiver in the game. But 93 speed is perfect, guys. It's great. The only thing you can't power him up, right? Because he's already technically powered up. That's why I said I wish he had a little more speed, because 93 ties Terry McLaurin. But again, he's going to be the best route running, probably receiver you know and speed combo in the game combined with great catching and he's six foot one and he has after the catch like you know juke and stuff and he's able to really play with the ball after the catch now guys if you power if you did not power if you came him up what cam would you go with now i guess you want to focus on whatever gets his catch and traffic up one right because at the end of the day his route running great as it is but if you're going to go generic i mean deep route running will get it done um play fake either one of those will go i mean it doesn't really matter either way he's going to be threshold everything but he's going to be great. He's going to be crazy good. You put route technician on him, wide receiver apprentice. You can put so much stuff on Chad Ochocinco. Now, if you have hot route master, maybe you don't go with that. Maybe you go route apprentice and something else. But he's going to be great. He's going to be the best receiver in the game, and at least, or at least tied four, but probably the best. But he's looking super solid. He's going to play great. You guys know Chad Ochocinco is going to play great. Um, typically, we don't get a legend card for him. I, you know, usually we get like a special card. Like I think we got a Christmas card for him last year. But it is nice to see him nice and early. Maybe we'll see an upgrade for him around like... I mean, we probably won't see an upgrade for him, at least since Ultimate Legend at this point, right? Uh, considering what time they dropped him as a late Legend, which means you won't get a Harvest or Christmas card, probably. But then that also means you won't get a Super Bowl card as well, so... You probably won't see him until Ultimate Legend. But guys, either way, Chad Single looks really good. That's about it for the video, guys. Remember, if you do want to see my predictions for Harvest, comment down below. Let me know. I'll be dropping that as the next video today. Also, if you guys enjoyed, like the video. I want to shout out the Poodle Squad. All you got to do is ask down below. Comment down below, Poodle Squad. Like the video, turn on the, the Nodi Bell. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourself uh, with or without the new consoles, doesn't matter. Still fun right now. Madden's not upgrading anyways just yet. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.